Give me a second, right? Okay. Billy Joe, uh, big weekend for you. Yeah, it's a big weekend for Mayo. You know, it's really, it's really exciting. I think that these last three years have gone way beyond our, uh, the Mayo supporters' expectations. And it's just been really great to see that each year they've seemed to improve and, and they've been absolutely outstanding in the championship so far this year. Uh, I think that a lot of people think that it's going to be, you know, that Mayo are going to be far too strong for Tyrone. You know, I, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be a very, very close game. I think that Mayo should win and they have the superior players around the middle of the field together, enough possession, and they have proved that they've maybe something that we Mayo didn't have in past years is that they have some clinical forwards and good free taking so I think they'll just have enough in the end but I think it's going to be a bit of a dogfight maybe two or three points on Mayo's side and of course last night on uh, the radio you had some crack uh, I was talking to a friend of mine from Tronis coming over from Galway and he was cracking up but uh, there, was a, there was a wee bit of banter with some of the Mayo lads it definitely was you know it was a night down in Mayo there was all Mayo people there wasn't too many people representing Tyrone there so there was a lot of there's a lot of confident, you know, hopeful Mayo people. And I think it's, it's probably the difference in other years in Mayo is that you're probably going to these big games with hope, whereas now Mayo is going in with an awful lot of confidence. And that's reflected in the supporters. They're really enjoying it. And can you tell us uh, who's going to wear what in the All-Ireland final if Mayo <laughs> get through? Uh, I, I don't know. You know, I think that if Mayo get through, it's a very difficult task. Whoever they play in the next round, you've Kerry or Dublin. Uh, like, if you ask me, Dublin have been the most impressive team throughout the championship in that they probably you've always felt they've something more in the tank and they just haven't you, you'd be worried if whoever's going to play them in all Ireland final that they're going to peak at, at that stage in the championship and they're going to be very hard to stop and of course last night somebody asked one of the Mayo players if uh, he gets to wear, he'll wear uh, what was he going to wear yeah. well David Brady said that he'd wear uh, women's knickers before and I think he's, he's escalated a bit this time around that he'd wear a pink g-string but I'll leave that totally for himself and he can explain that one for himself. Would you be happy enough if you've seen him? Just... I know, I don't want to see it at all. He can do whatever he wants, <laughs> but I don't want to see it. Billy, good luck. And of course, Carol Cropping building for the championship here as well. Yeah, it was a good few weeks, the last couple of weeks. Good training now. And I think you know we'll be back focused after this game. And so we're looking forward to whatever, whoever we get to play in the next round and hopefully get a good run in the championship again this year. Billy, Joe Patton, enjoy the weekend and good luck. Thanks, Amy. Take care. Brilliant.